load it in. We're gonna go to that money. Press F. Boom. We Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Rishraf. Today, we're gonna be getting into what you just saw, and it's the tool pickup system. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the toolbox, or if you have a tool of your own, you can use a tool of your own. So I'm going to look for, I don't have a tool of my own, uh, unfortunately, but I'm going to look for a tool here without any scripts. Um, money tool. I like that actually put that in the starter pack for now. Right? So we have the, it's called the Robux, right? It's got a handle in the mesh. Okay. So let's see what it looks like. Once again, I do not own or attempt to advertise any of these models. If you would like to me to use your model in a video, uh, like as a 3D model for me to work on, I can definitely do that. Uh, go and hit my Discord. It's Rishraf, hashtag 9378. That's the only Discord I have. This video is on YouTube only. All right, guys. So once we have the Robux or whatever tool you guys want, go ahead and just leave it. I drag mine to the workspace. And inside of that, Go and insert object, go to script. I don't know why it wasn't the first one. Script right here. You can name it, whatever. Script name doesn't matter. I'm just going to name it tool pickup. I went ahead and zoomed in for y'all. Just do local only pickup equals false. Now, nah, actually, we'll go true. So, like I wrote down earlier when I was practicing this because this actually took me a minute because I put something in here for you guys as you guys saw in the trailer you know in the little teaser at the beginning it's going to be pickup like you're going to have the thing on the screen which is pretty cool what we're talking about here is only pickup so if you pick it up once then the tool gets destroyed but if this is set to false then you can pick this tool up an infinite amount of times so we're going to say local part equals script parent all right so if you guys are new to coding i know i keep interrupting the code i will you guys can copy in a, in a second i'm just saying if you're new to coding whatever i know it looks like a chunk of colors letters numbers whatever but it's super simple just follow along you know rewind the video or slow it down whatever because see the words like how it all makes sense it's literally like how i'm speaking english and how it has a syntax and grammar that's exactly how code is that's why it's called a language so let's get back into its local server storage so as you can see here we're just getting the game get service server storage server storage there that is and then we'll say local and then here you can do like is is like a variable right like we'll say player has okay like player has the tool so starting off player has you know player has equals false because they don't have anything then, never seen before here on the channel, I actually had to do some more research. We're going to go local proximity prompt. prompt equals, you guessed it, instance.new proximity prompt. So instance.new, guys, is you guys can put whatever you guys want in the game through this. And then if you do this, you can do like the parent. So you don't have to set it. Like if you do the comma, whatever you put there will be the parent. Then we'll say proximity prompt dot hold duration so hold duration is how long the player will hold to pick up the tool if you don't want proximity prompt guys you guys can just do a player touched event but i'm actually going to start doing these proximity prompts a little bit more because i actually like the way this is set up because roblox has implemented it for themselves so i really like this you don't have to make your own that's a really cool idea by roblox so shout out to them i'm going to change this to 10 here and then we're going to go proximity prompt dot keyboard code so what this means is it's the keyboard code in which you want to pick up the tool so in this case i'm going to set my keyboard uh to be like f no wait is that to move i think f yeah so make sure it's capital make sure it matches the syntax here so i'm going to hold the letter f so i'll go over it. i'm going to hold the keyboard code don't worry about like this just, this does it automatically for you. This just sets it to F. Like, don't worry about enum.keycode. You will have to learn that. But just worry about the keyboard code is F max activation distance. You guys know what that means. When, what is the max distance you can interact with it? It's 10, like 10 studs. And then this one is hold duration. How long you are holding until you receive the item or execute the action. 
So that's super simple, guys. So we're going to go ahead and drop to line 11 now. And once we do that, we're going to say proximity prompt dot action text. So I'm just going to name mine like uh, pickup or like uh, press F to pick up. I don't know, something something that like seems cool enough, you know? And then we'll say proximity prompt dot object text equals part. If so, you guys can have like names, like titles of it. I'm just going to do the, um, like the part dot name. And then all we have to do is say proximity prompt dot parent. So the reason I'm parenting it here is because I want you guys to pay attention. When you say local part, if we go to my Explorer tab here. You'll notice how I have this set to as a child of that, right? And then there's handle. So proximity prompt has to pair to a part. It, you cannot parent it. I'm sorry, you can't make it a child of Robux. You cannot. You have to here make it a child of handle. Most parts, I think every part has to have handle. If you guys are not sure at all what I'm talking about, but are following along, for those of you who are lost, just do dot handle. I guarantee you, or dot whatever is there. I know that was a lot of words, guys, but essentially what I'm trying to say is, look, our part is script dot parent is the Robux, right? That's that's the part. So we have to do part dot handle because handle is now a child. Like if I wanted to get dot script, I can say dot, you know, tool pickup or whatever. So that's that. I hope you guys really understood. Um, I think I did a fairly good job, but let me know in the comments below if I did not. Or if I did, you know what I'm saying? So this is a built-in function here. And we're going to say hold began. Connect. So this is the function. Because what we just did up there is just set up some settings. That's all we did, guys. We didn't really do anything else besides that. And now we're just going to use those settings. Make those settings work for us. So basically, when the prompt begins, if the player has the part that we're looking for make sure you just name it all the same say robux i actually say dot name here sorry about that local player model equals workspace wait for child player dot name so just don't worry about this guys it's literally like you'll figure it out as time goes on but to explain it shortly it's the player's model is the workspace wait for the child so we have to get the character of the player then we'll do local holding tool equals player model find first child part so we just have to see if they have it on them um just to make sure that we don't accidentally give a player the same thing if you guys want to make them be able to pick it up multiple times you know like cash or something then all you have to do is like disable all the player has features and it'll just keep giving it to them we're gonna go player has equals true so simple english guys i know it looks like a bunch of mumbo jumbo right now but listen if back tool so if they have it if find first child i just shortened it i wrote it a different way but if because i like to check out like how i write different things you know what i'm saying like a friend of mine gave me this idea and a dude in discord shout out to that dude was asking for it so i decided to put push this video to the front of the line and actually make it but we got this as a different way. So if the player has it in their backpack, or if you guys got it in your hands, you never know, never know, then the player has it. It's that easy. It's literally simple English. Else, oops, else, player has equals false. If, if the player does have it, I mean, if they got it, then the player has. If not, it's basically if not, then the player does not have it. If, like, if I'm over-explaining, guys, like, just feel free to let me know. But I think I'm doing a pretty good job. And then once the proximity prompt begins, we need to have it end, correct? So we're going to say proximity prompt trigger ended. So it's different from press hold ended, which I really thought it was. I'm not going to lie. That stumped me. But turns out it's actually trigger ended for some whatever reason. We're going to put enter there. Oh, let me scroll down for you guys. My bad. My bad. I was about to write into nothing. And then we'll do is player if player has then return. Because if the player already has, we don't need it. This 
will, the only pickup function, this will actually only allow the player to pick it up once. And it'll actually take it off the ground. Um, but if anybody else clicks it, you know, they take it goes off the ground for everybody. Like it's not you can't click it more than once. So this is like the safety switch, um, which you guys can play around with it. I mean, I'm just overthinking everything right now. I'm like, dang, like, so this is the if statement. If only pick up, then part destroy. Oops. Then you gotta skip a line. Local tool equals. Okay, so this is what I was gonna talk to you guys about. Server storage wait for child part dot name. When you like rich wrap, I have no tool in the server storage. That's what we're gonna do after we finish up this line. We say local cloned. Oops, cloned tool. Let me scroll down. Sorry. Local cloned tool equals tool clone. And then finally clone tool dot parent equals player dot backpack. Oops. And you guys did it. Even if you guys just copied the whole video, doesn't really matter, guys, because let me take this out so you guys can see. But even if you just did that, it's alright because the reason I had you guys do that was because of the fact that we can now understand the code because you guys can always go back or you guys can just read it. I mean, when the player stops doing it, let me pull up my output. So just to go over it, guys, we have first line is only pick up. This is the only thing you guys want to change. That's a setting, basically. And then you have, you know, your proximity prompt. We have the messages we set and then we have if hold began so when we start clicking it and then we have that little back tool stuff and then we have when it's ended simple as that copy server storage paste into you'll see you want to disable the script here but you're like oh i don't have to write code nah you just delete the script that's it and then we go in here oh press f to pick up the robux okay let me hold it boom you get the robux in your inventory i mean that's that's it so guys you guys have any questions comment below discord below have a great day everybody rishraf over and out